guys, this is Max, and I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to be in interviewing Turkey Parks, who is a former Duke star, and he won a championship at Duke his freshman year. Okay, so now I'm going to be asking some questions. Alright, Cherokee, where did you grow up? I grew up in Huntington Beach, California. I was born in Anaheim, California, which is in Orange County, and I grew up mostly in and around uh, Orange County, California. How did you get your name? I got, I got my name. I, I am Cherokee Indian on my father's side. And so I was born in 1972, and my mom um, just really thought that was the name for me. So here we go. When did you start playing basketball? I started playing basketball when I was uh, 14, and I was going uh, starting eighth grade, and I've been a baseball player most of my life. And a coach had been pursuing me to play basketball, and I didn't want to play. And my mom was like, "Just uh, why don't you just go try it, and we'll see what happens." And I, I didn't stop playing. I stopped playing baseball. I think immediately and started playing basketball all the time. All right. How did you train when you were young? Um, and how did you train during like high school and all the like, games well, and stuff? When I first started, um, I started playing for my junior high team. And I, after I started playing for uh, a couple months, I was fortunate enough to have a, a trainer approach me about uh, working me out. And what was good about this particular trainer was that he focused on jumping and movement and quickness and wasn't so focused on the weight. So he really helped me become agile. So uh, I had that same trainer all the way through uh, high school. And uh, again, fortunately for me, that what he trained me uh, how he trained me was similar to how I, tra I trained in college and in, in, in the pros, yes. Yeah. Uh, what's the best advice your mom gave you? Uh, the best advice my mom gave me, and that's good because me and my mom like to talk a lot. My mom gives me a lot of good advice. Um, but most notably, uh, just my mom, uh, just to be compassionate and to listen and to be patient. Okay. Very important. Yes. Yes. Uh, why did you choose Duke over other colleges? Well, when I came to Duke University, I stayed on my recruiting trip. I stayed with Bobby Hurley and Billy McCaffrey, and I just fell in love with the program and the university in North Carolina. I liked them all. So when I came here, I was I flew, was flying back on a plane to California, and on a plane, I just knew that Duke University is where I was going to be playing basketball. Thank God. North Carolina, if you picked North Carolina, I wouldn't be here. Right now. I would not be here right now, that is okay. true. What was it like to come to Duke and win a national championship your freshman year and to beat Michigan? It was amazing. It was amazing because it, it first started with uh, when I was a senior year. I, I had signed my letter of intent in October. So I played my senior year and then they won their first national championship. So I got to watch that. And then when I showed up, uh, here my freshman year, we were ranked number one, and we had a very good team, and we were able to stay a very good team the entire year, and to win a national championship is amazing. It's, it's, uh, it gets more exciting every single year. I, I'm excited when they win it this year. I love watching the tournament, and to be a part of that uh, is truly, truly, like, uh, you know, very fortunate to have been in that situation. And just to add to that, and what did it feel like to be a part of that famous Duke, Kentucky, East region? Amazing, because people talk about it, I see clips about it, uh, any, anytime you watch a sports channel that sometimes just they'll be, uh, it'll be a segue into something else, and uh, it, it's really cool to say that I was at that game, and it, you know, it was played at the Spectrum in Philadelphia, which is a heralded old school arena, so just everything about that game uh, was spectacular. So you were the 12th pick in the 1995 draft, correct? Yes. Yep. How many seasons did you play in the NBA? Uh, I played, I finished playing in my ninth, I was in my ninth season. Um, and I played on numerous teams, but yeah, I got, I got nine seasons in the NBA. You played for some great teams like the Mavericks, Wizards, Clippers, and Golden State. Which team was your favorite team? My favorite team, um, well, I, had, I had a couple. One good thing, I got I got traded quite a bit. I signed with a few other teams. I am getting traded, but the cool cool thing about my career is I got to play with a lot of good rookie point guards. I got to play with um, I got to play stuff on Marbury when he was a rookie. 
I got to play with Mike Bibby when he was a rookie. I got to play with uh, Tony Parker when he was a rookie. Um, I was in Miami for training camp when Dwayne Wade was a rookie. Well, my favorite overall team, I have two teams I'd like to say we're playing with. Uh, first, it was the Minnesota Timberwolves. And so it was Kevin Garnett and Stephon Marbury and Tommy Gagliotta and Terry Porter. And um, Flip Saunders was our coach and it was just, it was a lot of fun. And then uh, going to play for the Clippers, because uh, I'm from the area, and our team was very young. And Alvin Gentry was the coach, and Dennis Johnson was our assistant coach. And we were the youngest team in the NBA, and just it was a lot, a lot of fun to play for them, play for that team, and be at home in California. Yeah. And another thing that kind of brings the, to the team, uh, who is your favorite teammate? <sighs> My favorite teammate? I'm not addicted because I played for a lot of guys. I really liked playing, again with the Clippers, I played with a player by the name of Sean Rooks. Sean Rooks played basketball at, in, at, from, he's from Fontana, Fontana High School in California, and then played it at University of Arizona. And then he played for the Lakers for a long time. Uh, he played for the Mavericks, who I played with. He played for the Timberwolves, who I played with. And then we played together with the Clippers. And that was a lot of fun because I'd known Sean since I was in junior high school. So, and I still talk to him now. He did some work with uh, Philadelphia 76 last year as a coach. Um, but he was fun because we really got along uh, and built a friendship outside of basketball, uh, which was really nice. So he was one of my favorite players to play with. Um, was it more fun to play in college or in the pros? Um, college is ex was exciting. Because college, the games were condensed and you have, when you go to games, you have a lot of fans at the game that you go, to, you go to class with. So you see a lot of your, lot of your schoolmates at the games, which is fun. And it's fast paced. Yeah, it's fast paced. And it's just, it's more, it's, it's uh, more of a family environment, which I like. Um, NBA is fun because you get to travel all over and you have games all the time. So if you don't particularly play well, you have another game quickly. You have sometimes the next night even. So that's nice, but college is just nice because in college you, have, you know you're only going to be there for four years. Or when I was playing, you knew you were only going to be there for four years and then that was it. You couldn't go back anymore, so you had to make the most of it. All right. <clears throat> Do you like being at Duke Camp Coaching? Because I know that all the campers love having you here. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, it is fantastic. And it's, it's, it's really nice because it's such a large camp. And it's really great that Coach K has a camp where he uh, is here and, and actively participates in the camp. And the assistant coaches are here. And I just saw all the Duke recruiting class for, for this season. Uh, I saw all the Duke, the incoming freshmen. I saw them all. Are, they are all here now as well. And um, the camp just goes very smooth. And it's nice that this, the facilities here, because everything's so close that uh, we have uh, one, two, three, four gyms that are all that's, that are all within a hundred yards of each other, and you know, and, and again, you get to sit down on the floor, you get to sit in Cameron Indoor Stadium, which is absolutely amazing. Um, so, can you tell me about your son? Because he sounds like a future star. Uh, I heard that he is six nine, right? My son is six nine, um, and he is a rising sophomore. And yes, and he, he just, he was, a, he was a late bloomer like, like I was. He started playing basketball later, and, um, and he's really come along. He's really liking to play a lot. I like one thing I like about uh, watching my son play is he likes uh, watching old school footage of players. Like, he likes watching Kareem, and he likes watching Will Chamberlain, and um, Kevin McHale. So I like that he likes watching these old, older players and learning the, the fundamentals of basketball. And the last question of the interview will be, will I see you next year at Duke Camp? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Awesome. I will be here. I will be here. Absolutely. Awesome. Are you going to be here? Yeah. Yes? Okay. All right. Yeah. So I'll guys, absolutely. that's my interview with Cherokee Parks. I hope you enjoyed. And he, he had an amazing career. He's a really good NBA player. He did very good in college, won a championship. So thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe and like this video.
subscribe for some more interesting basketball commentary.